Hey class, uh, this is Shakayla Beckham and uh, my animal project is over the northern glass frog. Hey class, this is Shakayla Beckham and my animal project is over the northern glass frog. All right, uh, so this next one is the uh, picture of the northern glass frog. As you see, a see-through peritoneum that gave it its name. Um, you can see its stomach and abdomen and heart and the yellow fingertips, uh, along with the dotted eyes. Um, at the top by his nose, you might see yellow dots, too, that helps differentiate it from a tree frog. All right. All right, so here it's an amphibian, uh, currently classified as a least concern by the IUCN. Uh, it is threatened by loss of habitat due to deforestation and human activity. Uh, so several terrariums are dedicated to glass frogs, not only just to get to know more about them, you know, about the stages of their life cycle, but also just to work out and share, you know, methods with zoos or other places that may, you know, start a good uh, population of frogs on their own. So males uh, do the most of the mating calls as a series of high-pitched peeps, which I do have a video lined up for you guys to see that. The mating is dependent on rain and humidity. Um, so spots along water sources and uh, the female shoes where to dispose the eggs. So multiple males fight over an area with eggs, um, and then 20 to 30 eggs on the underside of a leaf are fertilized. So it takes about two weeks, but after they hatch, it's usually a rainy night, um, which may cause movement in the streams and make them actually less visible to predators. Um, which is kind of cool, but very little is known about the larvae of tadpoles or the rest of their life cycle. Um, but we do need to know that males stand guard over the eggs and protect them. They're very good parents and uh, keep them moist. So when the eggs do hatch, they turn into tadpoles that fall into the stream or river where they develop into frogs. And in 10 to 12 weeks, they become adults uh, with back legs. So these frogs have a 14 year lifespan. All right, so for a need to know basis, literally because most species are newly discussed, they don't know much about uh, the glass frogs. Uh, they are hard to find since they're see-through, uh, but three-fourths of an inch to one and a half inch in length. Uh, these creatures are nocturnal and they're tree living or arboreal, arboreal, <clears throat> who knows, but we all learned a new word if you didn't know. Um, and they're very territorial and very verbal. They make a lot of sounds. I thought that was cool. Uh, lastly, the eyes, uh, how I pointed out, you know, they're golden, the yellow spots, toes and fingers, a carnivore beast who loves soft insects, flies, and even many spiders, uh, but snakes, birds, and other frogs enjoy glass frogs as a meal, um, and then they have cool adaptations like invisibility, very strong feet, uh, and immaculate vision. All right, so there are so where you can find uh, a glass frog will be anywhere pretty much with rain and humidity and lots of trees, anywhere with Netflix and chill weather uh, uh, where they can reproduce. But it's Costa Rica, South America, Northern Argentina, Paraguay, and Bolivia. So lots and lots of trees, access to food and water. That, that isn't that what we all like? Okay, for habitat. So one cool frog. I mean, I'm just. And then there's this awesome video. Uh, for mating and reproduction. If you do want to copy that link that was on that last slide, but these will be my references. Um, these will be my references um, for, you know, places that I looked at. If you do want to check that out, I'll go back later. Uh, but, you know, basically just remember this is an amphibian who's, who is endangered but is rated as a least concern right now, threatened by human activity mainly um, in tropical places like Argentina, northern Argentina and 
you know, tropical climates. Uh, they reproduce in places that are fruitful with water and insects and trees. Uh, the males do a lot of mating and a lot of parental um, activities. So uh, we have a good sum on the northern glass frog. And you guys can email me if you have any questions. It's my first dot last name at g.austincc.edu. Thank you.